Welcome on in, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Kendo, here with Mario Strikers Battle League. We're playing in a club match. Of course, we're still off-season right now. You're watching this in real time, but we got Evan joining us from the club. That's Evan12408 over on our Discord. So we're mostly shooting heavy. Now, we do have a Luigi that's a little bit more of that all-rounder build. I believe that's Jay Hazen 11's Luigi. It's the only Luigi in the club. So, uh, dang, I just, I love that Luigi being on any of these teams. The only thing we might vary up is our tank, you know, if I had to kind of think this over but that'll be the bowser that we go with and today we're going up against the super strikers so that's what they're going to be called over there in the orange team we are going to be on the black squad the task force ladies and gentlemen i'll be number five evan will be number seven right here as we open up with some early pressure right now everybody just kind of going to be passing back and forth for super strikers this is going to be wonderful especially if you're that one player playing solo against two that's the kind of disadvantage maybe that this orange squad is going to have very nice dodge very nicely with peach as well peach just set up for this because not only is she going to get that dodge, but she's also speedy in general, so kind of able to dodge and then juke all over the place, really. But like I say, when you know, when you've got two people, you obviously have two heads, hopefully better than one. Sometimes somebody might prefer to have a lot more of that control. Like, you know, I guess if you're with another player, there might be a lack of control that you feel if someone, say, switches to the character that you were thinking about switching. And look at this, Super Strikers on that first goal of the match in 40 seconds with all of those toads right here. They're celebrating. The toads are bouncing around, ladies and gentlemen, so that task force the onus is now on them to just kind of pick this up again this is sort of all early standings though right now as we're just about to hit that three minutes on the clock right here plenty of time to score of course for either team so will the super strikers widen that score gap or will the task force come out with this it looks like a few of those tackle attempts just going to be much too far off you know so definitely not going to hit with those tackles but Looks like we got a strike orb on the field. A nice little juke. Then maybe a, an inadvertent team tackle. Not sure about that. But it looks like right now, we got me, Dr. Kendall. That's player five right here. Trying to set up for the hyper strike. And it looks like it will be actually disrupted right there. Kind of a little bit brazen to be doing that right in number one's face. We did knock out some of the other players. We used the red shell and everything. So that will actually use up our orb. Just in case you're new and don't know, of course, setting up for that hyper strike. If you do not get that off while you're actually charging for the shot, you will not get it. But it looks like Bowser is going to go ahead and even it up for the task force right here. We'll go ahead and skip that pretty soon, I'm guessing. Yeah, there we go. Skip those highlights. And so Toad running around that ball. It's ready. We are going to actually see the tackle from Rosalina right here. But the task force does not have possession still despite it. It was uh, pretty good because the early tackle, the early pressure just off of the kick on the whistle, it's looking good. It probably does send kind of this uh, nervousness around Orange, right? You know, they're, they're, it just makes the intensity all get dialed up and they have to operate under that nervousness. It looks like just a double womp right there from Black and Orange right in each other's faces. We are Halloween colors on that field right now, but that is another strike orb for the task force. It's going to be a lot of fancy footwork and then an attempt at goal right there from the Super Strikers. This Orange squad again, especially having just one player kind of all over the task force right now, but that red shell, speaking of being all over somebody, that red shell was all over them, and it does look like it will set up for that hyper, and so Bowser gonna be setting up with an orange right here on the hyper. That is the flame cannon, if you want to know the technical name of Bowser's hyper strike. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Get that intensity. Dial up the heat. Wait, should it be get that heat? Dial up the intensity, maybe, but it looks like the task force, we are in deflection position right here, and that's gonna be perfect because Rosalina, go ahead and score that off the deflect and gain the lead. Boom, boom, pissed, as he should be. My friends, it's never the keeper's fault in uh, soccer or football, but in strike, it can be Boom Boom's fault. Maybe not that one, though. That was definitely the flame cannon knocking him out of commission, and then, of course, Task Force taking the advantage. Does look like Super Strikers. They do have the item advantage currently, but Task Force with score advantage only by one. Anything could happen, and it looks like we're going to nearly have that goal, but no cigar right there as Bowser attempts to score for Task Force, and then an attempt at tackle and will not land it. Now we got double green shells on both squads. A lot of those passes, Toad making the attempt and Toad can sometimes score some of those really close up goals having that technique maybe your build has a little bit of shooting maybe you're coupling those it's all of course going to depend on that gear build as well and so with all things considered the Super Strikers still going at it as we have just under a minute on the game's clock. Bowser going to take them out right in front of the goalie. That was definitely, it's got to be devastating for Orange, but a little bit dangerous for Task Force there in the black. Almost with the interception on the pass, will actually regain possession. Going to be dropping the Baban, hit their own Bowser, and then Rosalina's going to score once again for the Task Force. Rosalina's team scores at 3.13 off the clock right here. Rosalina going to float to the heavens and tell all the angels about that one. So... 
Now she's back with that ba bomb right out the gate. My friends, this is just devastating. Look at those tackles and then that pass to the open player. Rosalina sends it home with that combo shot. That is what you want to see right here. So wonderful job from the task force. Going to be a lot more for the super strikers to try to come back after that one. You're obviously a goal and then maybe a hyper strike that's executed with blue. You know, a perfect hyper. Maybe that can bring you back at least to a tie. But again, that'll just be a tie if the task force can't score as well. Now we got about 25 seconds on the clock and there's just a little bit more fancy footwork from Orange. They will pass that all around ultimately to lose possession right here to Black. So Task Force right now does look good. There is a strike orb on the field and it does look like Orange actually can secure that. Now we only have 10 seconds left. Will they pull this off? There's going to be the tackle though. Black with that Task Force. I don't think they want this to happen, right? So clearly they are not. Well, we do have a second left. That one second right now will actually yield to the hyper strike. It is fine, ladies and gentlemen. You are going to actually see the orbital burst go down right now from Rosalina that hyper strike and I believe that was double blue so that should be perfect for the super strikers but I'm sure many of you noticed that our score with one to four it will not matter though it is a perfect hyper strike that's unstoppable the super strikers will go ahead and gain two more points for a score of three and of course to that four. So that is going to be the final whistle and the task force, it says that they win by a hair, but hey, I mean, task force really dominating that match for most or the entirety of that match really until that last second, of course. So wonderful job. The winners are going to be the task force there with four to super strikers in that three. Go ahead and feel free to click an end screen on screen to see another one, but also if you have recorded footage, let me know. I'd love to commentate over your matches and thanks for viewing.